Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new movie review. And today we are here to discuss one of my all time favorite classics, Bambi. Released in 1942, the story is about a little deer named Bambi who learns the, well, life that he lives, the wonders of life, as well as the dangers of life. Considering the plot that I basically just summarized, um, you could tell it's a very simple story, and it technically really is. The story just consists of Bambi learning about everything around him. He's born, he's curious, he follows his mom, he ha he makes friends with a, a little rabbit and a little skunk. Um, he learns about the weather changes and, you know, the creatures around him. And then you have the conflict, which is man coming in and hunting. And that's legit it. I mean, later they do show him as an adult and he basically falls in love with uh, Feline, who he knew as a child or a little fawn. And uh, but yeah, it's a relatively simple story, but it's done so well. You're not bored by it. At least I'm not. The animation is amazing and you like the characters. So, but let's go ahead and do one at a time. So let's go ahead and start with the characters, shall we? Once again, you have Bambi as one of the cutest characters in Disney history. He is sweet. He is kind. He's just so darn adorable. And the voice acting is great. Most people um, probably would agree that Thumper is their favorite, my mother included. I do love Thumper. I don't consider him a personal favorite, but I do love Thumper. He's cute, he's feisty, and who can not um, reenact his lines? One of them being, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. I always mock the part where they're talking about the flowers. Eating greens is a special treat that makes long ears and great big feet. Um, that's just, I, I love them lines. They're just so fun. And again, the voice actor did an amazing job. My personal favorite that we're coming to, though, is Flower. He is so adorable. He's sweet. He's kind of shy and bashful, which is probably why I like him so much, because he reminds me of Bashful from Snow White. But he's just so cute. And, yeah, if I, if I had to choose, like, character-wise, it probably would be Flower, Bambi, and then Thumper, honestly. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh, they, they, I just love them so much. I also want to touch base on the mom real quick. Um, she does get enough screen time for us to care about her. Her relationship with Bambi is amazing for a Disney movie, obviously. Um, similar to what Mufasa was to Simba in 1994. The mom is an example of patience with her son and love. And she... She's just such a nice character and a lot like Dumbo's mom, but not so much because Dumbo and his mom didn't talk. Well, oh no, I'm sorry. Jumbo did talk, but she didn't talk a whole lot. Whereas Bambi's mom, you actually get to know her a little bit more and she's very protective and very loving and that makes her a nice mom character. I haven't even begun to mention all the other ones, most notably the owl or Bambi's father. At least we're assuming it's his father. Both are really good. Um, the stag is very intimidating, but he turns out to be a loving, you know, deer. He does console Bambi after that scene, which I'll get into later. And, uh, and the owl is wise and not, like, in your face. But he can be kind of funny, too. He's always sleeping, and then he's always being interrupted by his sleep. So, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's dive into the music real quick, shall we? The music here, I believe, is done by Frank Churchill. And again, his music here is outstanding. I love the soundtrack to this. I listen to it a lot. My favorites of the score being The Gallops of the Stage and Bambi's Battle with... um the mean deer for Feline 
and the part where Faelene runs from the dogs and Bambi rescues her. Those are my favorite orchestra, um, you know, score uh, for the music. I love the actual music, though. Um, obviously, it's not an actual musical, but you do have a guy singing every so often. You have the opening song, Love is a Song That Never Ends, which is a personal favorite. And then you have the love theme between Bambi and Feline, which is, um, I think it's called I Bring You a Song or something like that. I can't remember. That one's okay. Um, I still listen to that one, but it's not a personal favorite favorite. But I do love the music to this film. Now let's talk about the gorgeous animation that this movie brings us. The animators did such an incredible job here. Everything looks flawless. Every step of Disney movie magic they've made from Snow White all the way to Bambi and after that. It's like they improved on it more and more. I remember, I think it's animator Mark Davis. I think I got that right. I'm not sure. But I know his name's Mark, M-A-R-C. And he was talking about the animation of the deer. And he compared it to Snow White. <clears throat> and for Snow White, he um, brings up that they more or less look like sacks. So it's like, okay, they're deer, but they weren't based on real deer, I guess. Whereas with Bambi, they took the time to look at footage, real life deer, and animate them so that they looked realistic. And I, I think that is incredible. The amount of time and patience that these guys did. My gosh, I, I could not do that job being an animator. I mean, I'm not an artsy person, but I can appreciate the fact that someone took the time to make an incredible movie just with, you know, hand-drawn animation. And then the fact that someone else had to color that and then bring it to life. I mean, it's amazing. And that's probably one of the reasons why I prefer the old Disney compared to the newer Disney. There is more magic and more time taken from the films back then than there is now. I'm not saying that Disney movies now still don't have talent, but they're sliding for me personally as far as creativity and lack of enthusiasm, if you will. These guys had passion and used it. And you can, you can see their hard work. And it's absolutely incredible. All right. Let's talk about the conflict that leads us to two scenes that quote unquote could be traumatizing for children. <laughs> so Okay, the conflict here, if you haven't seen it, is man. For those who have seen it, you know what the conflict is. Man comes in to the nature's domain and wants to hunt, okay? As a human, I understand the, the idea, okay? You need to eat, and there's wildlife out there. And that's, you know, that's what you do. But from an animal's point of view, it's like, you know, all they want to do is live their life. And here we're seeing it from the animal's perspective. And man is posed as the villain of the story. <clears throat> and the biggest one here is Bambi's mom and what Bambi loses. Pretty much, you know, there's that scene where winter hits, but then winter slowly decays because I guess you're seeing grass. So they're eating very peacefully and the mom notices something that, that there's something wrong and she warns them, get to the thicket, go. And you hear a gunshot. You actually hear multiple, but the last shot you hear, you don't see the mom again. The other part, which I'm going to admit for me as a kid was worse than what Bambi's mom uh, when Bambi's mom died. And that is later when Bambi is an adult and we hear, oh man's in the forest again, you gotta go. We're seeing three pheasants and two of them are being calm and collected. The other one is freaking out, having a an attack, an anxiety attack, which, okay, I get it. And then she flies off and these two are just looking at her and you hear a shot. 
But the shot does not end there. You see the body fall down to the ground. That's dark. That's darker than what we saw from Bambi's mom. Bambi's mom we knew was dead, but you just heard the shot. You didn't see no body. And the, you saw the body for the the bird, the, the pheasant. I'm like, what? Okay. As a kid, that traumatized me more than Bambi's mom. A lot of people say, I cried during Bambi's mom's death. I did not cry. Okay, I was never a major movie crier as a kid. I don't know why. I just never was. Um, that's changed now as an adult. There are plenty of movies I can see now that I watched as a kid that I bawl my eyes out. Like, <clears throat> before time. Anyway, <clears throat> but, but that part is just so traumatizing. It's nuts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I found that part to be extremely worse. Than Bambi's mom. So um, I think that's all I really wanted to touch on based on that particular moment. So um, yeah, moving on. Whether you like this movie or not, you cannot deny that the film is done by very talented people and it works as a film. It's It just gives you what, what it gives you. It's a very simple story, but it's done extremely well. The pacing is good, and like I said, you you get involved with the characters, and it's it's just really good. Also, uh, before I forget, uh, when going back to the music, uh, there's one bit that I forgot is the raindrop song, which is a really fun song. But I also like the deleted song, um, which I believe is just called Raindrops. But that one's a lot of fun to listen to. And I listen to that all the time as well. So anyway, with all of that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this movie review on Bambi. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Bambi and what you think I should review next. I will give you guys a heads up. I probably will not be reviewing a Disney movie for a while because I'm not in a Disney mood right now. And I'd rather review something I'm in a mood for than what I'm not in a mood for because I want to be authentic and everything. So um, I will let you guys know when I'm ready for another Disney re review. But in the meantime, leave your comments below anyway. Give me a review you'd like me to review, whether now or in the near future, and I will look into it. Um, I have ideas of what to talk about next, but I'm not going to say why or what it is, just in case. Um, in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed. I will keep you posted on everything, especially on my books. Follow me on social media, um, my Instagram account, Courtney Lynn Grace for my author page, and Courtney's Vintage Life on my Instagram page. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Have a great and wonderful day.